Dispatch Golden Globe winner Kevin Bacon stars in a new thriller called Cop Car. He plays a sheriff whose car is taken on a joyride by two young boys, and he desperately wants it back. Take a look. You didn't touch anything, did you? A lot of dangerous equipment in my car. You didn't open the trunk there, did you? No. Okay. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and sit yourself down in the back seat. Don't touch anything. Anybody comes by, you just say, help is on the way. You're doing a real special job guarding the car for the sheriff. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. All right. Kevin Bacon, good morning. Good morning. I mean, this is a compliment. You are such a creep in this movie. <laughs> you really you. do the whole creep thing very, very well. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you see, you're the sheriff, which is not the same as saying you're a good guy. Well, no, he's not a good guy. I mean, he's a desperate man. I think he he starts out probably his career thinking he's going to protect and serve, but he makes some bad choices along the way. And part of what's fun about the movie is trying to have an audience kind of uh, uh, put their own theories together about why he might have gone down the wrong road. Yeah, because this is a script that doesn't answer every question. It no. kind of lets you leave some things to the imagination. Yes. But, but in terms of the plot, we told you that it's the two boys, they steal the car. There's something of value in the trunk. Yes. Are we allowed to say what's in the trunk? No, let's not say what's in the trunk. Okay. But it's something the sheriff wants back. Yeah, I want it back way. really bad. Uh, yeah. I mean, they stole the wrong cop car. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're bothering the wrong sheriff. Yes. There's not a lot of dialogue either. No. No. You know, I, I when I was younger, I used to read a script and say, uh, I would judge it based on how many lines I had, you know, <laughs> and if I had the big scene, as what Kira and I call it, the big naked crying scene. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think sometimes as I've gotten older, I've looked for some parts where you can kind of play between the lines, yeah. you know, and, and, and I think that what's amazing about a, a film camera is that it gives you the opportunity to see things that the naked eye doesn't even see. Mm -hmm. And if an actor has the opportunity to um, show some uh, confusion, sadness, anger, joy, whatever, without actually saying this is what I'm feeling, it's, it's a good exercise. Well, there's some part of this movie that I really want to focus on. It's your mustache. Okay. Okay, I want to put it up on the screen and I want to admire it. And I have many, many questions about this mustache. First of all, did you grow it? Is that your facial hair? Uh, this is all smoke and mirrors. It, I, I, we, we, we can't divulge any secrets. People, <laughs> people say, uh, well, how did you get the kids driving the cop car? And uh, the director of the film says, I, I can't tell you that. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take his, his, his advice. Because I had all these questions like, is it itchy? Did you have to walk around on your yes, off hours itchy. with that thing? Yes, I had to walk around on my off hours, and yes, it is itchy. Those are, you, are two questions that I will answer. Okay, are you a fan of facial hair? I can't well, remember, have you ever had a beard or You know what's really sad about that is that I can grow a mustache and I can grow whatever this is so that I end up looking like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, but I can't actually <laughs> grow anything on the side of my face. Really? So when I've had... Um, uh, sideburns in the past, they've been uh, yeah, glue-ons. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little frustrating as an actor because, um, you know, you want to be able to sort of change your, your look, you know, in terms of facial hair. But I always say to myself, listen, I'm not going to complain because I still have the hair on top. <laughs> and at my age, there, I'm, I'm a very small club. Let's put it that way. You are, of course, not just an actor, but also a musician. And I saw something cute on your, on your Twitter page. The Bacon Brothers were out playing recently. Yeah. And a gal came dressed as a human-sized piece of bacon. She did, yeah. So she gets to come up on the stage. Yeah, we were at McGuire Air Force Base playing there, and uh, it was a hot day, and, and I just see this, this, you know, kind of, excuse the pun, you know, sizzling piece of bacon walking right across the tarmac, <laughs> and I said, uh, I said to one of our, our, our roadies, you know, just uh, please go get her because she's got to come up for the encore. And, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, she's got a lot of guts. You know what's weird? I almost wore that same outfit today. You're kidding. Why yeah. didn't you? I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, thank you so much. Thanks Good for having to see me. you. Cop Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.